All right, so um, yeah, I've had a few people ask me about it, reviews on uh, the caveman weights, and I did a few of them with the epoxy. Um, so a few people asked about uh about how to do the epoxy part of it. So I'm gonna do a quick one real quick on show y'all how I did it. My last ones I did were red. Um, let me show you one. Oh, that's the last ones I did. You can tell it's dusty with chalk on it. I, I, I use them quite a bit. <laughs> did these ones blue. And um, these are, hold on just a second. These right here are the markers and stuff I use. And I paint them. I coat them with a with a um, epoxy first, but then I paint them. But you don't even have to coat them the epoxy the first time. I just did. But just after you get done concrete making the concrete waste, you paint them whatever color you want, and then use these. I just use these paint markers right here. You can buy them at you know, Walmart. Everything I can get, you get at Walmart. But um, the epoxy I use, you can get it at Walmart. But there's smaller things of it. I'll show you. Um, but I don't. And you can use it. It's five minute epoxy. I'm not gonna use it this time because it's kind of expensive, and I have some other stuff. But this is just basically the stuff you use right here. It's just a two part epoxy. Um, just half and half it. I use these little cups to mix it with, and which I'll I'm gonna go through here and do real quick and just show y'all exactly how I go about doing that part of it. So I'll have to. If you can deal with me being a horrible cameraman for a minute, because I'm not that good at this. I'm trying to mix it up and do it. But here we go. I'll grab a couple cups just so I can get my measurements right. These cups are old, so I'll get a big cup here to mix it in. Um, let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Like I said, you can use that epoxy right there. I just I don't I don't have much of that one. It's a five minute epoxy, so I'm just gonna use some regular tabletop epoxy. Which is the same thing, it just takes it longer to set up. It's just a two part. Um just do half and half of your of your epoxy and then your hardener. So yeah, was I used that part B from that was a curing agent, this is the actual epoxy. Look at these little cups right here. You can kind of see through them to see when they're about even. That looks about right, right there. All right. Put my lid back on here real fast. All right. So, now I'll get my big cup out. And I always pour my hardener in there first because it's thinner. And so it's easier to get it out from around the edges of the cup. It don't take a whole lot to, do, to cover this weight. Um, it just, uh, it just, it, I always mix that too much, <laughs> so it's all over my floor and stuff when I get done. But oh well. So I'm gonna try to set this camera down for just a second. This phone camera. Give me just a second. I'm gonna point it in the direction where I'm supposed to be filming. I'm a horrible cameraman, y'all. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, wipe the sweat off. That epoxy does not like moisture. It does not like water. All right. Oh. So, I'll get the uh, epoxy here. I'm just gonna regularize this stuff. Stir it up, blend it up good. It'll kind of turn. Um, It'll go from like a milky color to pretty clear once it's mixed up and blended up good. And you can actually act, 
color this epoxy in a different color if you wanted to. But since I already painted the white, you're not going to worry about that color. Either. But you can. You can actually color the epoxy if you'd rather do it that way. So it's easier if we just put gloves on and brush it on and do it by hand mostly. But you can use a brush if you want to, it don't matter. Do it on my circle, like on this floor. I don't care about getting the epoxy on my A few minutes. Uh, I'm making a video. Sorry about that. I'm on lunch break. <laughs> I'm going to try to make a YouTube video real quick on lunch break. Ain't that something? I always try to get it, you know, on these things. You have that little piece of PVC pipe right there. And I always try to get it around it real good and make it kind of. I'm always afraid that thing going to let loose and come out. So this right here, I'll make sure you stay there. Okay. You see, I have this stuff everywhere already. But it's kind of part of it. That's why it'd probably be better to use a five minute epoxy, actually. It's just those little big things that were like, I don't know, 10 bucks. Like that. But you can do several ways with that. Mostly try to get it around all the edges. So that's where it's going to take all the abuse at anyway. And my first idea when I even done this because I've seen them bumper plates and I like the way they look. And it's like, okay, well, what if I can make those and that rubber stuff peels off real easy? It did on mine. I tried the rubber stuff and it just peeled off. I said, well, I know this epoxy wall. <clears throat> this is the side you're going to see the most. I'll leave this side the thickest and the prettiest. Like I said, we got way more epoxy than what I need, but it will. It's going to level itself out. And if you got any air bubbles in your epoxy, you can actually use a little blow torch. So I got mine on, I'll show you. But I don't really have any air bubbles in this. I didn't use like a blended wheel or nothing. I just mixed it up with a popsicle stick. <laughs> All right. So let it sit until it hardens. And you get yourself an epoxy weight. Alright, don't you go up there. Alright. So, that's uh, how I do the epoxy weights. Pretty simple little process. The longest thing, you know, the take, tracing the, uh, the letters out, it takes a little while. And like I said, if you once that epoxy gets somewhere like on that floor right there, it's not gonna come up. So uh be sure you lay something down if you care about your floor at all, this whole shop. I could need to do the whole floor in epoxy. <laughs> but uh yeah. Like I said they work good. 
you know, it's, it's pretty simple to do. Um, this stuff right here, you could, it would dry a whole lot faster if you want to use that. Because the stuff I just put on there is going to take 12 hours at least. They even halfway cure. Um, 24 to get real hard. But uh, that stuff right there hardens in five minutes relatively. It don't get as hard to me as this other stuff, but it still gets hard. So, yeah. Anyway, this will be the second YouTube video I've made. I'm, uh, I got some other videos I did on a little garden tractor I'm building. I'm thinking about posting them too. See how people like those. I don't know. Gotta get, gotta become a better cameraman. I know that. <laughs> but anyway, for the ones that's asking about the videos, asking about these, this is how I did it. I appreciate all the good comments and stuff on the first one. I didn't expect that. I really appreciate that. Um, anyway, man, keep on lifting, y'all. That's what it's about. I'm trying to get big and save money and stay in good shape. But um, yeah, I lift every day. Have fun with it. It's what it's about having fun, staying in good shape, y'all. Alright, to the next video.